Welcome to yoga. It is a close tail yoga class, so we don't hold the poses for too, too long. I want you to spend the next hour relaxing, letting go, and focusing on some wonderful deep breathing. It does wonders for the body and the mind. So you're going to make this your very own practice. If you feel a little tired today, take that into account. If you're feeling super energized, take that into account as well. This is all about you. Most important thing is to be safe in your practice. So I will always give you really good verbal cues to get you in the right position to keep you safe. So that's the deal. If something feels really, really not right to your body, that means you're not doing it correctly. So listen to your body, okay? So let's go ahead and start with some relaxation down on our backs. Going all the way down. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms open to the sky. And we're going to start to breathe deeply in through our nose, expanding our belly back and rib cage as we inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to also breathe out through the mouth or through the nose. Entering the top of your head, making its way down the length of your spine, inserting itself in between each segment of your spine. It has created a nice blank slate. Let's inhale our right arm towards the sky. Exhale, let it float behind us. Once it's there, we're going to flex our right heel. And I want you to extend out through your right heel and your right fingers. So you've got this active stretch on the right side of the body while the left side remains relaxed. And then let's relax the right. Inhale the left arm towards the sky. Exhale, float it back. Once there, push out through your left heel and extend out through your left fingers. So now you have lots of action on the left side of the body while the right side remains relaxed. Let everything go soft. And we'll inhale both arms towards the sky. Exhale, let's return them towards sides. From there, we're going to draw the right knee up as close to your ribs as you can get them. And then flex and point your right foot. Work from your heel to your toes. Change the actual rotation at your ankle. Leading your big toe towards the midline of the body. And then we'll just let the foot rest. And I want you to just crunch up all your toes so they're really, really tight. Spread them out as wide as you can. Scrunch them up super tight. Spread them out really wide. And then we'll just let that foot rest. Set that leg out and we'll switch. And we'll the left knee. As close to our ribs as we can get it. Flex and point your foot. 
Start to roll your ankle around, lean with your big toe towards that midline of your body. And then we'll just rest our foot. And then we're going to spread our toes as wide as we can. Spread them up super tight. Spread them out really wide. Spread them up super tight. Lunge for a wide spread. And then a big scrunch. And then we're going to just rest our foot. Let's bring your right knee in. And we'll give ourselves a well-deserved hug. Adding a few rocks side to side. Massage either side of your spine. Come back to neutral and let's circle our knees around and around. And then let's reverse. And then we can just let the, the knees rest and let's separate our knees while our big toes are touching. And we're only gonna open them far enough so they're aimed out over our shoulders. And just feel them pressing against your body. Now let's take them a little bit wider. Wanna bring the soles of our feet close together. Pull your heels closer to your body. Shoulders, neck, spine, all remain relaxed on the mat. So let's bring our knees back together. Another nice tight hug. A few more knee circles around. And reverse. And then from there, let's cross our ankles. Hook around our big toes. Tighten your belly. Press through the back of your ribs. And let's bring ourselves off the mat. So we've got our chin towards our chest, our nose towards our knees. And release that down. Change the cross of your legs. Look around your big toes again. Tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs. Round back up. And release. One more time, change the cross. Look around your big toes. Tighten the belly, press down through the back of your ribs as you round up. And then from here, as we exhale, we're gonna use the power of our belly to bring us upright. All right, now once we're up, we're seated in an easy cross leg position. Use a pillow or roll up your mat if you find it difficult to sit in this cross leg position. We'll let our palms open to the sky while the backs of our hands rest softly on our knees. Allow your chin to drop to your chest and breathe into the back of your neck. Inhale as we lift, tip back and open your throat. Exhale again, chin to chest. Inhale, lift, open the throat. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, lift, open our throat. And then just find your way back to a neutral place. Feel those shoulders heavy, drive away from your ears. Sitting tall, let's turn and look to our right. Come back to center and turn to look left. Back to center, turning to our right. Back to center, turning to our left. Return to center. And then let your hands press together at your heart. Let's start by forming a triangle with our thumb and index fingers. Take a big inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna press our triangle towards the sky. Inhale, pull your elbows and forearms together on the way down and then let them open. So we exhale, press. And we inhale, open. Exhale, press. Inhale, open. Exhale, press. And inhale, open. From there, let's inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, round the spine, back to the hands meet. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, back of our hands meet. 
Inhale wide. Exhale round. Once more, inhale wide. And exhale round. And then just bring yourself back to our seated mountain pose. Again, feeling the shoulders heavy, pulling away from the ears. Feeling the top of our head being drawn towards the sky. Lots of open space in our spine. We're going to take one more inhale. Exhale as we soften. And from there, transition to an all fours position. Once there, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, fingers wide spread, palms rotated in slightly. Feel like you're lifting your weight out of the outer edges of your palms and pressing more towards the index finger knuckle area. That's going to keep strain out of your wrist and your shoulders. From here, we're going to sink our navel, lift our tailbone, lift our head, open our heart cow. Exhale, scoop the belly in as you round the calf. Let's inhale, open cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round cat. Come back to a neutral all fours. Keeping our belly button tight. Pushing our right leg behind us. Extend through your heel. Reach the left arm out front. Rotate that left palm towards the sky. Exhale, return all fours and switch. Push the left leg back. Reach the right arm forward. Exhale, or switch again. Exhale, lower, switch. Exhale, lower, and remain. Separating our knees, big toes come together. Push that tailbone back. Let your chest drop through your knees, forehead on the mat. Feel that stretch from your fingertips to your tailbone. Flip your palms open to the sky and feel the stretch deepen going down the side of your ribs. Flip the palms back over. Remember that hand position. Tuck your toes and let's move into downward facing dog. Allow your head to dangle through your arms as you're pushing your heels towards the back. Rib cage pulling towards your thighs and the base of your shoulder blades pulling towards your tailbone. Let's walk our dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. Raise one heel as you press the other. And then we'll switch. Raise both heels again. And then let your heels drop down. From here, let's inhale into a good strong plank. Eyes looking out. Belly button super tight. Buttocks is relaxed. But we're pushing out through the back of our inner knees. Exhale back up into down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, once again, into plank. Modify to your knees. From there, we lower halfway with our elbows wide. Now lower your chest and then your hips. Tuck your elbows in. Press to your hip bones as you lengthen your spine. Rise into the cobra. Again, open the elbows, exhaling down. Tuck the elbows in. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, open elbows wide. Elbows in. Inhale, rise, and cobra. From there, we're going to push all the way back. Extended child's pose. Retuck the toes and come back up in the down dog. A few more walks of our dog. Raising both our heels and pressing them down. Inhale, return to plank. So remember, you can always modify your plank or lower in one piece. Elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tucked in. Inhale, rise for cobra. 
Exhale, tuck your toes. Come on back up. Downward facing dog. Inhale again to our plank. Modify if you'd like. Lowering elbows wide. Chest down, hips down, elbows in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Tuck the toes, we're back up. Downward facing dog. Once more into plank or modified plank. Lowering elbows wide. Chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes. Downward facing dog. From there, let's take a giant step forward with the right foot. Placing our foot between our hands. Eyes looking out. Runner's lunge. So runner's lunge is always like a transition position. Just want to make sure we're protecting our knee. It's stationed over the ankle. We've got our weight in our right big toe, second toe. And we're on the ball of our left foot. So think about pushing into that big toe knuckle back there. When you're ready, add your arms for your airplane. Lift the upper body, bringing us into high lunge. And then let your hands press together at your heart. Inhale towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Step the right foot back, return to your plank. Press down up, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward this time. Knee over ankle. Weight in our left big toe, second toe. Ball of the right foot, think about pressing into that big toe knuckle back there. Eyes looking out, and then once you're ready, become an airplane. And then start to lift into high lunge. Let our hands press together in our heart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Let's step the right foot forward. Big toes turning in, heels turning out. Ribs resting on thighs. Cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands. Let your upper body melt against your thighs. Release your fingertips down and slowly roll up. Reach high and touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to our heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale, to our heart. This time we inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back. Uh, plank or modified plank. Lowering down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise to cobra, exhale, tuck toes, down dog. Inhale, forward to our plank, exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out, rolling up. Reach to the sky, exhale to our heart. There's our first sun salutation. Inhale again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Modify if you'd like, lower halfway, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows in. Inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale again, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach high to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Step or hop back to plank. Exhale, lower, elbows wide. Chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale to plank. Lift the right foot. Press back into three-legged dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to our heart. Inhale again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, fold deeper. Step or hop back, plank. Exhale, lower, elbows wide. Chest down, hips down. Elbows tuck in. Lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Lift the left foot. Push back into three-legged dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward. Toes and heels out, inhale, roll up. Reach high to the sky. Exhale, return to your heart. And then let your arms extend. Standing mountain pose. Bringing awareness to our feet. Feeling our weight pressing into those big toes, second toes. Feeling our heart center open and our fingers reaching towards the earth while the top of our head is being drawn towards the sky. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale as we sink. Right foot steps back into lunge. Let's push the right heel to the mat. Turn your right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel. Start to lift. Knee over ankle. Weed in our big toe, second toe on that left foot. We've got hip bones facing forward. Shoulders stacked over hips. Arms extend. So feel your body weight centered equally into both feet. Feel your arms extending and reaching towards the sky. But feel those heavy shoulders pulling away from your ears. Open the arms wide. Hinge forward, bringing ribs close to your front thigh. Bring the arms forward alongside your ears. You're reaching out. And let's inhale and rise back into your life. From there, we're going to place our hands together at our heart and push our left leg straight without locking. Start rotating your upper body. We're going to end up facing the wide edge of our mat with our feet a little wider than our hips, our toes in, our heels out. From there, let's inhale towards the sky. On the exhale, we're going to bend our knees. We're going to hinge forward, brush your fingers on the floor, and then inhale, rise back up. Exhale, bend your knees, brush the floor. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend your knees, brush the floor, inhale to rise. Once more, exhale, bend the knees, brush the floor, inhale, and rise. From there, let's reopen the arms, and we're back in our five point star. Holding the belly button firm, begin to hinge forward and stop when your back is parallel to the side. Extended arms. Here's our straddle airplane. Let your hands return to the mat, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, out. Exhale, we're melting. We've got our forearms dropping towards the mat. We've got our head dangling through our arms. While we're here, nod your head yes. And then shake it. No. And then just let yourself release. Let's press down into the palms, pushing our arms straight once again. Walk your left hand over to your right outside ankle. And then wrap that left arm around your left thigh. Just pull your body closer to that thigh. As we exhale, let's release. 
and we're back into our forward straddle. We inhale and lengthen, look out once again. Add the arms wide for that airplane, and then slowly bring yourself upright, returning to five pointed stuff. From here, we're ready to lower that left arm towards your left thigh, extend your right hand towards the side. Feel like you're trying to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. And then begin to inch that other hand all the way down the side of your leg. And this would be our standing gait. Let's lift back up, returning to our star. Left toes turn to the front end of our mat. Align your left heel with your right arch. Keep your upper body tall and straight. And then as you bend, that left knee it comes out over your ankle. Body weight is centered equally into our feet, but the weight that's in our left foot is pushing into our left big toe, second toe. Remember your hip bones are still facing the wide edge of your mat. Let's lower the left, lift the right. And back into warrior two. Lower the left and lift the right. And come back to warrior two. One floor lower. And return. Stand that left arm forward as you lift it up. Let your right hand lower. Turn your left palm towards the side. Feel that stretch traveling all the way from that left hip bone up the side of your body, pushing out through your palm. And find your way back into warrior two. Pull your left leg straight without locking. Start to draw the right hip behind you as you're reaching your left arm out in front. Once we can't go any farther, that's when we get to lower the left and lift the right. And we're imagining ourselves being pressed against the wall while being drawn up towards the sky, creating open space and lightness, no feelings of sinking downward. Make sure there's no tension in your neck, no tension in that shoulder of the extended arm. Nothing but space and lightness. Now as we exhale, let's start to lower that right hand. Once your right hand is down, we're still in that same lower body position. Inhale your left arm to the side, and then exhale, revolve at the waist. And that becomes our revolve triangle. Exhale the left hand down. Rebend your left knee, returning to the ball of your right foot for lunge. We'll step that left foot back, bringing us to plank. Once there, we're lowering, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise for cobra, exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Now keep your right shoulder over your right wrist. Let's go right into a side plank. Left hand reaching towards the sky. Exhale, back around into full plank. Press back up into down dog. Extend your right leg towards the sky. We're back in three-legged dog. And then we'll step our right foot through our hands. Once we're back in our lunge, push your right leg straight. Extend your left leg behind you. Form a tripod with your two hands and your right foot. Remain in tripod or align your right thumb with your right pinky toe. Roll your left hip away from the mat and then extend that left arm towards the sky.
Exhale, right left hand down if it's lifted. Step the left foot in. We've got our toes in, our heels out. And I bend those knees like we're sitting down in a tiny chair. And while we're doing that, we're pulling our knees together, lifting our ribs off of our thighs, extending our arms alongside of our ears. And really think about lifting your upper body out of that chair. Inhale, reach high, touch the sky. Exhale, press your hands if it hurts. Now let's shift our weight into our right foot. And I want you to spread your toes out, but start, feel your weight pressing into your right big toe, second toe. When you're ready, place your left heel against your right ankle bone. And let's go ahead and lift that foot from the floor. Let the hands separate. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, lower the arms. And then we can bring our foot back down. And we're back into our standing mountain pose. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. This time it's our left foot stepping back into lunge. Pressing our left heel to the mat. Turning our left toes out and aligning our right heel with the back of our left heel. Weight is pushing into our right big toe, second toe. We're lifting up our body, keeping our hips square, shoulders stacked, and your arms. Remember to keep your shoulders away from your ears, with the arms strong and reaching. And we've got equal amounts of weight in our front and back foot. Open your arms wide. Hinge forward into that airplane. Stand the arms alongside our ears. And then inhale, rise back up. Let your hands press together at your heart. And then start to pull that right leg straighter and straighter without locking. And then we can rotate around. We end up facing the other wide edge of our mat. Feet a little wider than hips. Toes in, heels out. Breathe. Now from here, I want you to bring your wrists under your armpits. Draw the elbows in and back. And we're going to sweep the arms around so the back of our hands come together. And then go ahead and draw your wrists under your armpits. Sweep the arms around. That's the hands meet. Into the armpits. Sweep around. Two more into your armpits. Sweep around. One more. Into your armpits. And sweep around. From there, let's rotate our palms to face one another. Inhale to the sky. A little bit of a back bend. Back to neutral spine. Let the arms open. And we're going to bring them together behind our back. So whatever way works for you to bring those hands together is fine. We're going to start by opening the heart center and actually feeling it pressing forward. Tipping our head back to open our throat. And feel like you're pulling your hands down towards your mat. Now as we inhale, let's neutralize our spine. Exhale, we start to hinge forward. So flat back. Lead with your ribs. Lead with your ribs until you're totally upside down. And then try to lift those arms higher towards the sky. Exhale as we release, let the hands trickle back to the mat. Ah, those arms feel nice and long. Inhale, look out, flat back. And then exhale. Let's see if we can sink a little deeper than the last time. Again, 
Yes, nod the head, yes. Got it, shake, no. And then just let it aid. Push down into your bums. Arms get straighter and straighter. Reach your left hand over to the outside of your right ankle. Put the right arm around under that thigh and then pull your body over to that leg. As we exhale, let's release. Coming back to our center. Inhale, flat back, looking out. Exhale, arms go wide for airplane. And then we inhale and rise slowly to standing. Rotating those palms towards the sky. We've still got our toes and heels out. And there's our five-pointed star. And then go ahead and lower your right hand to your right thigh, extending your left arm straight up. Start to inch that hand farther down the outside of your leg. But keep that other hand reaching towards the sky. And then we'll inhale, come back up. Let the hands press overhead. Let's place our fingers. Press our index fingers together. And then let your arms come shoulder level. So we're feeling that really nice stretch across upper back and back of shoulders. And open the arms wide, returning to our star. Right toes face the front end of our mat. Align your right heel with your left arch. Keeping your body tall. Let's bend the right knee. Comes out over our ankle. We're pushing weight into our right big toe, second toe. Breathe. All right, so lower the right and lift the left. And come back to warrior two. Again, lowering and lifting. Warrior two. Once again. And open hold. Now reach a little farther with your right. Let the right lift as you lower your left. Rotate that right palm towards the sky. Feeling that stretch. Going all the way up the side of your ribs. And pushing out through your palm. Come back to warrior two. And now we're ready to pull that right leg straight and we're back in our start position. Left hip is pulling to the left, right arm is extending out as far as it can go. Once we're extended as far as we can in either direction, lower the right, lift the left. Press your body open against that invisible wall behind you and feel yourself being pulled towards the sky. Really opening and breathing into all that space. We're not feeling any tightness or tension in our shoulders or neck. We almost feel like our left hip is pushing a little bit forward. Our left shoulder is drawing a little bit back so we have that straight line. One more inhale as we are. On the exhale, start revolving upper body. We're going to bring that left hand to the mat. And then we're going to inhale, right arm out to the side. And exhale, revolve our triangle. So remember, in triangle, the goal is to maintain straight arms, straight legs, straight spine. Bring that hand down. Rebend your right knee, returning to lunge. We're on the ball of our left foot. We can step our right foot back. Brings us back into our plank. Elbows wide as we lower. Chest first, then our hips. Elbows tuck in, press through the hip bones. Lengthen your spine, rise into cobra. Tuck your toes, we're back up into down dog. Inhale forward to plank. 
and exhale again, down dog. Lift the left leg, push that heel to the sky. Go back in the three-legged dog. Now let's step our left foot forward, bring it up between your hands. Once we're there, we're gonna push our left leg straight, extend the right leg behind us, and place your hands to form a tripod with your left foot. Feel free to stay in tripod. Think about pushing yourself away from the mat, making sure that we're not letting the head dangle down. If you wanna work on half moon, align your left thumb with your left pinky toe, open your right hip, and then add that right arm towards the sky. Exhale the right hand down if it's lifted. Let's step the right foot in. Turn your toes in, your heels out. Start to bend your knees and sit down in that tiny chair. Pulling those knees together. Lift your ribs away from your thighs. Add your arms alongside your ears. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale. From there, we've got a focal point for our eyes. We're gonna spread our toes out on that left foot. Begin to shift your weight into your left foot and really work at keeping the majority of your weight pressed into your left big toe, second toe. And then place your right heel against your ankle bone. And when you're ready, lifting the foot. Make sure you're not pushing your knee, your heel against the side of your knee. Let's open the arms. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, open down. Return your right foot to the mat. Open your heart. Mountain pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink down. Right foot back, left foot back. We've got left shoulder over left wrist. Side plank on this side. Now let's all bring the left knee to the mat. I want you to sink down onto your left hip. And then just bring your right knee so it stacks on top of your left knee. We're going to hold on to our right ankle with our right hand. Then set the left arm up and do a little side stretch to our right. Once there, come up with that right hand and see if you can grab hold of your left wrist. And then lift back up. Let the arms slow down. We'll come around onto all fours. Once you've made it onto all fours, set the right leg behind you, push out through your right heel. Reach the left arm forward for back in spinal balance. Now let that left arm open to the side and pull your right heel towards your bottom. Now you can bring your left arm down alongside your body or you can reach your right ankle with your left hand, grab a hold of it and push that right heel towards the sky. And then let's release and return to spinal balance. Let's bring that left hand back down. Inch your right knee forward behind your right wrist. And then start to use your left hand to guide your right heel across your body. You want to aim it at your left hip bone and try to get your right knee to point out to the side of your mat. Then we can inch our left leg back a little bit further and start to melt down into pigeon pose. So we know that pigeon pose for everyone is not a good feeling pose, so if that is you, 
You can flip over on your back and do the exact same positioning, but you're gonna be on your back. We'll take one more inhale as we are. On the exhale, let's make sure we're on our forearms. Tuck your left toes under so you can lift your left knee, bringing us into second position, Pigeon. And then we're gonna step our right foot back. And that should bring us into a nice solid forearm plank. From forearm plank, let's move it up to full plank. Press yourself up into downward facing dog. Now let's come down onto all fours. And once there, go ahead and sit on your right knee. So now we've got knees and feet stacked as closely as we can. Got our left hand holding our left ankle. Gonna reach the right arm up. Do a little side bend to our left. Come up with your left hand. Go ahead and grab hold of your wrist. Give a little pull. Now let's inhale back up. Exhale open wide. And come back around onto all fours. Now let's push our left leg behind us out through the heel. Extend your right arm forward for spinal balance. As you open your right arm to the side, bend your left knee so you're pulling your heel towards your bottom. Now you can simply send your right hand arm down alongside you, or if you can reach your left ankle, grab a hold of it, and push that left heel towards the sky. And then let's release and we're back into spinal balance. This time the right hand comes down. We're gonna pull the left knee through so it's behind our left wrist. Once there, let's use our right hand to ease that left heel across the body, aiming it at our right hip bone, trying to open that left knee out to the side, inching our right leg a little farther back, and then melting down. So we want to keep our weight centered over our hip bones. So we're not pushing off towards that left hip. And while you're here, push down on the outer edge of your left pinky toe. And push down through the top of your right foot. So you've got the top of all five of your toes pressing into the mat. And then just sink down. One more inhale. On the exhale, let's make sure we're on our forearms. Tuck your right toes under so you can lift that right knee. Pushing off your right heel, there's our second position pigeon. And then we'll step the left foot back. And that's gonna bring us into a nice, strong forearm plank. Walk the hands in, brings us into full plank. Pressing up, now we're facing the other. Good, and then from there, let's return to all fours. Keep your toes tucked under, walk your hands towards your knees. Let's lift up. We're gonna make a fist with our hands. Bring your fist behind your spine. And you're going to press them on either side of your spine in your lower back area. While that's happening, open and expand your heart. Let your head to back to open your throat. 
So if you want to stay in preparation for camel, we're going to remain as we are. You want to go for full camel, let's reach our hands down, try to keep your thumbs on the outside of your ankle bones and the rest of your fingers on the inside. And if you're in that full camel, refist your hands so they still go back into your low back. And then let's all inhale as we neutralize our spine. Let the tops of your feet press into the mat and start to pull forward. Bringing your rib cage onto your thighs, letting your forehead drop to the mat. And then let your arms just roll down alongside you. From there, let's place our hands under our shoulders so that we can lift our body away from the mat. And then once we're up, come around and have a seat. We'll start by extending our legs almost straight. Hinge over so you can reach your big toes and then pull your ribs into your thighs. From there, we're going to try to push your legs straighter and straighter and mount all the way down. And then let's release our toes, come up slowly, and place your hands behind you so your fingertips are pointing right at your buttocks. I want you to push down, feel those palms, spine is long and open, belly button is super tight, we're going to start to pull our hips away from the mat. Think about pressing the bottoms of your feet towards the mat, don't let your head hang back. Keep it in a nice, neutral alignment with your spine. And then as we exhale, we can melt back down. And then once we're down, walk your hands forward, push back through your tailbone, belly button, chest, and then head. Inhale as we slowly come up. And then let's bend our knees and place our hands behind our thighs. Drop your shoulders from your ears, lift your heart, keep your spine straight, and then little by little start to extend your legs. Go where you can without rounding your back. Once you're ready, add your arms. Now we're going to lower just the upper body. So feel that belly scooping in, rolling it down one segment at a time. Once we're down, let's extend the legs towards the sky. You bring your arms alongside your palms facing up. Here's our very modified shoulder stand. You're feeling a pull in your lower back while you're trying to keep your legs straight. Simply slide your hands onto your butt to lift that a little bit, that should take that away. We're gonna move into full shoulder stand, Belly button does the work to lift and hold us. Hands are just secondary. So we're lifting up. Once there, we want to make sure there's no weight in our neck. And then if you want to, you can try dropping your right toes over your head. Right leg up will switch. And if you're fully warm, and you can do this without putting weight in your neck, then bring your right leg back down to the plow. And we'll bring the legs back up. So, if you're in modified shoulder stand, I want you to bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, space them apart, about hips distance, toes in, heels out slightly, and then start to slowly push your hips up in the bridge. If you're in full shoulder stand, we're going to go there from here. So you can bend one leg, get your foot onto the mat, 
Other foot onto the mat. Press those hips up. Let your arms rest at your sides. So again, none of us are feeling weight in our neck. We're feeling lots of activation in the gluteals and the hamstrings. If that's not where you're feeling it, you need to walk your feet out farther towards the end of your mat. And then from there, let's slowly melt down one segment at a time. Ah, one swallow be down. We'll stretch our right leg out straight, flex your foot. We'll keep our left knee bent, open your arms wide to the side. Shift your hips a tiny bit to the left. Let's tuck our left toe behind your right knee. And then use your right hand to gently press your right knee towards the mat. Go ahead and look over your left shoulder. Let's inhale the knee back up. Switch legs. So push the left leg out straight down the right knee. Shift your hips a tiny bit to the right as you tuck your right toe behind your left knee. And then use your left hand to draw that right knee across the body. But remember, your hand is pressing on the outside of your thigh, not on your knee joint. And let's inhale the knee back up. And slide that leg out. Now let's take the right arm and just bring it across your body. I want you to press your arm, bring it against your upper body, using your left hand so that we're stretching open the back of our right shoulder and the upper portion of our uh, back, right side of the back. Let's ease that up and we'll switch. Bring the left arm across and then your right hand is going to apply that little bit of pressure so you can slump the arm. Close to your body and feel a stretch. And then we can release. Let's open our arms nice and wide. Palms to the sky. Stretch all the way out through your fingertips. So you're pulling from your shoulders out through the fingertips. And then push out through the heels of your feet. And then feel your body go soft. And then we're going to slide the arms in a little bit closer to the body. Allow your palms to face the sky. And adjust yourself on your mat until you're feeling very, very comfortable. We're not feeling any pressure points. Continuing to breathe deeply in through the nose, out through the nose. Just feeling our breath taking us into that place of complete relaxation. We're actually feeling the warmth of the sun beaming down on our bodies. soft breeze blowing from the water. Every once in a while we can feel a little bit of spray from the waves as they come into the shore. We're residing in that perfect place of comfort.
remember that circumstances don't make a person. They reveal a person. We're sending away all of our anxious thoughts and choosing to live today with courage and hope, with an open heart and a grateful heart, and making random acts of kindness a part of the fabric of who we are. Know that my soul honors your soul. I am honoring the place where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. And sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. And if you're heading out and about today, we're going to be kind to people. We're going to make sure that we wear a mask that covers our nose and our mouth because we care about ourselves and we care about others. We want to make sure we're vigilant about washing our hands at least 20 seconds at a time. And we also want to make sure we're keeping an appropriate distance. That way we can curb the spread of the virus and make it a better place for all people. So enjoy your day. Don't forget to hydrate. And I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Take good care. Bye.